Hi, I'm Wen Chan Zhang, a PhD student from the UBCOM lab at National University of Singapore, directed by Prof. Brian Lin. Here, I'm glad to introduce our new paper at CHI 2022, Towards Relatable Explainable AI with the Perceptual Process. Hey, Wen Sun, you are sounding fearful. Cheer up. Well, you're right. You know, it's my first time to present at CHI. But how do you know I'm fearful? Because your speech looks like this, and the highlighted regions reflect fear. In this example, although the CNC map with the spectrogram can faithfully explain AI's decision, this explanation doesn't make sense for end users, since the information is too technical to understand and not semantically meaningful, and the way model thinks is also not human-like. All these problems limit the model's interpretability for various real applications. To mitigate the previous problems, we argue that explainable AI should be relatable to abstract concepts, examples that are representative to the concept class, and cues that describe in terms of semantics. Inspired by the human perceptual process from cognitive psychology, we are given the stimuli, we select salient parts, organize them into cues and interpret them by recalling relevant concepts and associated cues comparing their similarity to the stimuli and categorizing to a concept. We propose the XCI perceptual processing framework with corresponding capabilities. Let's consider a task of speech motion recognition. Inspired by the well-known CDNC map technique for image recognition, GRACAN, we use CDNC bars to select important word segments for recognizing an emotion from speech. Intuitively, unique salient regions are more useful to distinguish between emotion categories for users, which means the importance of common salient regions need to be degraded. To this end, we introduce a discount factor to mitigate the issue and compute contrastive saliency with the hardware product between the GRACAM and its corresponding discount factor. We use StarGAM a generative model to synthesize realistic counterfactual speech samples by changing from a soft emotional style. Kids are talking by the door. Into another one. Kids are talking by the door. While maintaining other information such as the speaker's identity and the lexical content. Counterfactual can help with users' intuition, but it can hardly tell the subtle difference between two emotions. Prior evidence from psychology studies indicate that vocal cue patterns vary with speech emotional styles, and people can distinguish emotions by analyzing the relative cue relation. Inspired by those findings, we derive the vocal cue patterns from speech clips with a phonetic analysis tool. By comparing the relative Q relation, we provide contrasted cues as another explanation to distinguish between the target sample and its counterfactual. Bringing all these features together, we developed the RexNet architecture to provide multiple relatable explanations, including contrasted saliency, counterfactual synthetic, and contrasted cues. To evaluate how well RexNet works and how it affects users' behavior, we first conducted a modeling study to demonstrate its performance. Then in a formative user study, we investigated how users would use relatable explanations. And finally, with a summative user study, we evaluated the effectiveness of each explanation. Here summarize the findings from our modeling study. Where the most important one is that RexNet can improve the primary task performance, that is the emotion recognition accuracy. We attribute this performance gain to making model being aware of vocal cues. To further evaluate the impact of relatable explanations on end users, we develop a user interface under the vocal emotion recognition task. After playing the voice clip to be judged, Dogs are sitting by the door? The user can view the system recommended prediction, view or listen to various contrastive explanations. Dogs are sitting by the door. 
The contrastive saliency bar highlights important words, while the contrastive cues describe in terms of relative cue relation. At any time, the users can check the contrastive explanations belonging to different emotion categories to support their decision making. Dogs are sitting by the door. After going through a tutorial session to learn how to use various explanations and the corresponding screening test, the participant was tested with the human simulatability task where she needs to listen to the voice clip, view any explanations depending on the allocated condition, label an emotion in a balls and beans question, and finally rate perception questions. To answer the question of how usable are relatable explanations, we conducted an interview in a Think Loud protocol with 14 participants who were recruited from a university mailing list. The result indicates that users considered counterfactual samples more intuitive than others, and users made their decision based on mental deal processing when vocal cues come in. We also observed that the risk of misinterpreting saliency bars may be too technical for users and identified the difference in perceptual acuity of cues between users and the system. We further conducted a between-subject experiment with 175 participants recruited from Amazon Mechanical Turk to explore the question, how useful are relatable explanations? We found that all relatable explanations improve the perceived helpfulness compared with the baseline and some explanations lead to improved decision correctness. Surprisingly, combining all explanations together reduces the benefits on decision correctness, probably due to the weaker coherence between explanations. To summarize, we contribute an XCI perceptual processing framework with the RexNet model that can provide multiple relatable explanations which is also the first time to provide a human understandable explanations for audio prediction. Please check our paper for more details about the approach and experiments. Thanks for listening and I'm open to questions.